All right, in this video here, we're going to be looking at solutions to equations. So let's back up a second and talk about the differences between expressions and equations. So here's an example of an expression and here's an equation. The main difference is an equation has an equal sign. So when we have expressions, we can be asked to simplify an expression or evaluate a expression, but we're never asked to solve an expression. We can only do those with equations. So if you ask somebody, do you want me to solve this? That's like asking about making a touchdown in baseball. It doesn't make any sense because you cannot solve expressions. We can simplify or evaluate, but we can only solve equations here. So a solution to an equation is the value for the variable that makes the equation true. So here we're asked, is 3 a solution to this equation here? So remember, we're looking to see if 3 being replaced for the x makes the equation true. So here we go. So we're going to replace the x with a 3. Boom, there it is. And now we're going to simplify this expression here. And we'll start out order of operations. We do the parentheses first, so that's going to be subtracting. So we have a 3 minus 5 is going to make a negative 2. And then we still have the 2 and the equals question mark negative 4. So this question mark does mean we're checking to see if it is equal. And so last up, we still need to do this multiplication. Positive times a negative makes a negative. Two times two makes four. So negative four there and negative four on the right-hand side. Negative four does indeed equal negative four. That's a true statement. So yes, three is a solution. Now, is 7 a solution to this equation here? So remember, we're looking to see if it makes a true statement. So we're going to replace the 7 with the x. Here we go. Right there, there's the 7 being replaced for x. And this is a question mark here because we're checking to see if it is equal, if it makes a true statement. So let's simplify. We'll start with parentheses. So we'll subtract. So we'll have 7 minus 4 makes a 3. We still have the 6 and the 3 there and the equals with a question mark because we're checking to see if it is equal. So next up for simplifying, we have 3 times 3. We're multiplying and that makes a 9. So 6 does not equal 9. So this is not going to be a solution. 7 is not a solution because 6 does not equal 9. We wanted it to be true, but it's false. In this example here, we're checking to see if 4 is a solution to this equation here. So we're going to start out by replacing the x's with 4. So there's more than one x here and here. So those are going to be replaced with a 4. 4 there and 4 there. And in this case here, we're checking to see, is it going to be equal? Is it going to make a true statement? So now we do order of operations, we simplify. So over here we have a multiplication, five times four makes 20. And then we still have the plus four there. And then over here we have a three times four and that's gonna make 12. And then we still have the plus 10. And remember, we're checking to see if it makes a true statement. So last up for order of operations, we have addition there. So 20 plus four makes 24 and then 12 plus 10 is going to make 22 and these are not equal so it makes a false statement 24 does not equal 22 so 4 is not a solution to this equation here now we're going to check to see if negative 3 is a solution to this equation here so we're going to substitute negative 3 in for the x's here and see if it makes a true statement, if it is indeed equal. So here we go. Negative 3 goes in for x there, and negative 3 goes in for x there, and we're checking to see, does it make a true statement? Is it actually equal? So now we do order of operations. We simplify. So we have negative 2 times negative 3. Negative times negative is positive. 2 times 3 makes 6, and then we still have the plus 4. And we're checking to see, is it equal? And here we have negative 5 times negative 3. That's a 15. We still have the minus 5. Last up for order of operations, we have addition subtraction step. So 6 plus 4, that makes a 10. And that does equal 15 minus 5 also makes 10. 
10 equals 10. That's a true statement. So negative 3 is a solution to this equation here. So remember, with these equations, we're looking for a value that makes the equation true. So at the bottom of our work, we're going to see a true statement like there or there. Now, if we have 5 equals 6, that's false. And so that number that we were testing out is not a solution.